There are two common ways in which African cultures are discounted, even in studies that are purportedly about African societies. The first is through the uncritical imposition on African cultures of supposedly objective conceptual categories and theories that are in origin and constitution bound to Western culture. The second is what I call the mishmash theory of Africa, the result of which is unbridled homogenization of African cultures, even when it is clear that these cultures do not share identical institutions or histories. There is no question that Africans have many things in common and that some generalizations are possible, but care must be taken in deciding how these claims are to be made and at what level they are to be applied given the paucity, i.e. the lack, of detailed, historically grounded and culturally informed studies of many African societies.